In this video, I'm going to show you how to play around Bistrals and Rawlock your opponent. Um, Bistrals are really popular right now, especially games 2 and 3. Uh, this combo will show you how you can resolve the Raw's Disciple Lock with Expulsion uh, after your opponent sides in their Bistrals. So, uh, it's just going to be a short video. I know a lot of people ask me how to do this, but basically, uh, real simple. Activate High Spirits. So, your requirements, you need High Spirits, any Bistral monster and any card like a uh, discard essentially so you need you activate high spirits uh reveal the bestial send albion discard the bestial and you'll add spriggan's kit to your hand uh next you'll use spriggan's kit effect because you have an albas fusion in the graveyard summon itself and when it's summoned Use the effect to add a branded Speller Trap from your deck to your hand. We'll add branded Fusion, and then you'll have to put one card from your hand back into the deck. Next, we'll activate branded Fusion. We'll send Ra's Disciple and Albas. Um, if you're playing Ido, or if you're playing uh, any other, you know, like Artifact Scythe or Christia, you can also send it here. I'm just using Ra's Disciple as an example. So you'll send those, and you'll summon Albion. Next, we'll activate Albion's effect on summon. Um, at this point, we're going to make Mirror Jade, because we want a way to get a second Albion engraved to protect against uh, Bistial. So you'll banish itself and Albaz. And note, if the opponent tries to Bistial the Albaz here, they lose, because you already have the Albion and Disciple. So they can't Bistial you right now. You'll banish Albaz and Albion, summon Mirror Jade. Uh, at this point, you'll go end of main phase. Your opponent has to use a Vistial here if they have one to banish Albion, because once you go to the end phase, you can use Albion's effect to set the expulsion. So in the basic combo, you would go to end phase now and you would use Albion's effect, set the expulsion. Um, yeah. So if your opponent, so end of main phase, before you do that, if your opponent decides to activate a Bistial, you know, summon their Bistial, banishing Albion, use Mirror Jade's effect, sending an, uh, your third copy of Albion to banish their Bistial, and then you go to end phase, and then you use Albion's effect to set this. Um, so now you might be wondering, what if your opponent does not use their bestial and lets you resolve this Albion. So going back to this state, uh, so you just did the combo, you just summoned your Mirror Jade, then you use Albion's effect in Graveyard to set Expulsion. Still in the end phase, uh, you'll use Mirror Jade's effect, sending Alba Lenitus to the Graveyard to banish Spriggan's kit. Uh, this is important because you need to have no monsters on your field when you activate Expulsion, so your opponent cannot chain a Bistial because Raw's Disciples in Grave. Uh, I'll show you what that looks like in a second, but we'll use Alba Lenitus effect to add a Branded Fusion to our hand. Uh, opponent's turn, draw phase, you'll activate Branded Expulsion, tributing Mirror Jade as cost. And now you have zero monsters on your field. So Bistials cannot be activated at this point because they're only a quick effect if you control a monster. Because Expulsion tributes its cost, you control no monsters. Your opponent cannot chain a Bistial, which means Expulsion will resolve and you'll summon uh, Disciple and you'll summon Kit. And then, uh, you know, obviously you can use Kit's effect if you want, but you have Branded Fusion as follow-up for the next turn. You have multiple ways to reset Expulsion, so you can break the lock, push, and then reapply it. Um, yeah, I just figured I'd make a short combo video, show you guys how to use Branded and High Spirits, Bistial, plus any discard. Any discard in your deck. This plays through Bistial's games 2 and 3. Uh, yeah, hope you like it. Let me know if you have any improvements.